Hey Tech, we want to talk about the cooling system on this International. It's running a Max Force 11 engine. It's kind of complicated, so we're just going to go over some of the pieces, kind of the flow, and kind of what the big parts of it. So we're going to start at the top. So uh, this is just the uh, a coolant reservoir. Back in the day, they were called radiators. Uh, the radiators in front. This is a, this reservoir is connected to it. Uh, if you start at the very, very top, we got the cap. Now even this plastic cap on this reservoir is very important. It's part of the uh, pressure regulation system of the actual whole coolant system. It, uh, inside the cap actually has a valve that at 15 PSI, the cap actually releases the pressure. So even the cap, is, even though it's plastic, it's very important to this system. All right, to come this system, it's connected to the radiator, of course, which is in front of the whole system to allow air to pass through cools off the engine coolant. As the coolant comes up, it comes into the water pump, which we'll go over, or we'll go over to uh, a trainer so you can kind of see some of these components. Put into the water pump. The water pump helps circulate that coolant throughout the engine, the EGR. Uh, it'll go up to the, uh, as it comes up, it'll come up through the, yeah, uh, the uh, heater core. You know those pieces? Uh, a lot of these lines are actually kind of like pressure relief lines. Because if they build up too much pressure, things can break. Again, it's a 15 PSI system. The more pressure builds up throughout the system. Uh, so we've got the, you can't see it from here, which we'll go over, is we've got the thermostat housings, which is actually in the front of this, uh, right next to the EGR in this uh, Max Force. The thermostats allow for the, uh, the coolant to go back and forth from the engine to the radiator. Uh, when it reaches about 100, it says 181 degrees, it starts to open up to let alcohol to move. But before then, the service had shut off to the radiator, uh, the coolant to flow to the radiator from the engine, but not from the EGR. The EGR will still circulate coolant from the uh, radiator into the EGR, into the engine itself. It's kind of interesting how this works. Uh, but those thermostats close off and make like a bypass that goes through the thermostats. Which will show you where the housings are over there. Uh, let's see, as it comes up, there's the EGR, blah, blah. Uh, we've got, so if you look at the bottom of, kind of how flow works. Here's the bottom of radiator. Now this, on this Max Force, there's like three or four different radiator systems. The one for the actual coolant's about in the middle. Uh, the one that backs for air, we got coolant, we've got AC up front, we got, actually we got, excuse me, going on my last, we've got uh, an oil cooler and then we've got AC on the front. But right here's our radiator, our coolant temperature, our coolant radiator, which comes up, helps cool this, comes into here, it goes back into the pump, which we'll show over there. Um, it's really hard to see on this because there's a lot of systems going on. Uh, so let's go over to the trainer. I'll show you where the, some of these little pieces are. All right, so on this trainer, this is still the same engine, the Max Force 11, and all those radiators have been pulled off. This allows you to see the pulley system for this belt-driven uh, coolant system. So here's our water pump. The intake is actually down here. As, it, as the water pump moves, and pulls coolant in, up from the end, into the engine, and it's, uh, if it's not at operating temperature, it bypasses the actual engine coolant. So this is where the thermostat sit. There's two thermostats that sit here because we have a lot to cool, so it's got to it's got to move a lot of coolant when it actually gets up the temperature. So as it bypasses the engine, it goes up to the engine, the EGR, right? As it flows back, these ports go back into the reservoir for some uh, pressure relief. It comes back. Back to the EGR and actually comes back into the engine. The engine block and starts all over again. Now, when those thermostats open up right here, when it reaches, it starts at about 180 degrees because we're trying to keep the uh, the engine at an operating temp at about 210. Uh, so these thermostats open up. And they allow coolant to go into the radiator, which I showed earlier. And that flows from the radiator and comes back up through the uh, through the pump. The reason they're so big is to allow for this whole system to cool down. So the coolant in this engine is uh, it's really important because without a, the proper coolant, you can fry pieces or cook your engine. 
Uh, so the, the coolant that's been used in a lot of these Max Force is actually a, a polypropylene, uh, polyglycol uh, coolant. It's like a red coolant. Uh, so make sure you get the right in, the right coolant. If you're in colder climates, you might need uh, some different additives in it to keep to lower the uh, the freezing point. Or if you're in a hotter climate, like here in Florida, you might need it to lower that, uh, raise that boiling point so it doesn't boil up too, uh, too soon. So, hope you learned something about the coolant in the system. Again, it's just basic information and basic components. Uh, have a nice day.